Yes, it's a Subway Series this year, and avid fans travel to Brooklyn for the third game. The Yankee general manager, George Weiss, and owners Del Webb and Dan Topping commend Casey Stengel for his generalship. This is the Big Four of the Yankees organization who guided their club to five consecutive American League championships. American League president Will Harridge brings the prestige of his office to the Ebbets Field contest. To the grand old man of baseball, Connie Mack, this represents the 50th time he's seen the rival leagues fight it out. Chicago's Cubs are represented by business manager James Gallagher and manager Phil Cabaretta. More than 400 newspaper men form a reporting corps to bring news of America's national pastime to countless millions of readers all over the world. Manager Casey Stengel pits veteran Vic Rashi against Charlie Dressen's choice, Carl Erskine, making his second start in this series. But the excited record crowd falls into reverent silence as the national anthem is sung and the stars and stripes raised to signify the freedom under which our people live. The crowd is tense in the Yankee third as Rashi becomes Carl Erskine's fifth strikeout victim. And Collins is number six as he swings on the third strike to end the inning with the game still scoreless. In the Yankee fifth, Martin sends a ground single between short and third for the first Yankee hit of the ball game. Rizzuto singles off Gilliam's glove and Martin moves to second. The Dodger infield moves in. Rashi advances both runners with a sacrifice bunt. Then Gil McDougal smashes a single off Cox's glove and Martin scores with the first run in the game. Collins is Erskine's eighth strikeout. The inning ends with the Yanks leading one to nothing. Jackie Robinson is up in the Dodger fifth. It's one away. And he belts one high off the right field screen for a double. With Cox at bat, Rashi commits a balk and Robinson is sent to third. The squeeze is on and Cox drops a bunt neatly by Rashi to bring Robinson home. The score goes to one and one in a tensely fought battle that remains that way as the inning ends. Barra opens the Yankee six with a bouncing single into right field. Mantle goes down swinging to send Erskine's strikeout total to nine. And Woodling makes it number ten. After Martin flies out, the score is still knotted at one apiece. Dodger six. Duke Snyder singles to right field. Hodges walk. And Robinson, after two men are out, lashes a single over McDougal's head to score Snyder and give his team the lead two to one. The Yankee eight. Three times previously in this game, Collins has gone down on strikes, and he goes down once more as Erskine marks up strikeout number 11. Power hits a drive by Reese for a base hit. And Barra reaches first when he is hit by a pitch ball. Mantle steps into the batter's box. There are men on first and second as the switch hitter faces Erskine. Then strike three swinging. Erskine's 12th strikeout victim for the day. Dean Woodling wallops a base hit to center field.
Bauer scores to tie up the ball game at two runs apiece. It's the Dodger eighth with one out in a game that keeps the fans anxious with every pitch. Rugged Roy Campanella sees the pitch he's wanted all day and sends a circuit clout deep into the left field bleachers. The fans explode in a frenzy of joy as the Brooklyn Dodgers break a grueling tie and take the lead three runs to two. As the Yankees come to bat on the ninth, trailing by one run, Wiley Casey Stengel calls on his reserves. He sends infielder Don Ballweg against Erskine as a pinch hitter, replacing Rizzuto. Erskine's pitches are careful and accurate. Ballweg strikes out. In his final swing, puts Erskine in a tie for a strikeout record set in 1929 by Howard Emke of the Athletics. Big John Mize comes in to hit for Rashi. As Mize swings on the big third one, Carl Erskine joins baseball immortal by making it 14 strikeouts, a new all-time World Series record. The Yankee manager sends still another capable pinch hitter against the new record holder. It's Irv Noren batting for McDougal. He walks and the potential tying runners on first. With victory within his grasp, Erskine carefully sizes up the next batter, Joe Collins. Collins hits the grounder back to the pitcher and is out Erskine to Hodges to end the ball game. The Dodgers win three to two in a ball game that was relentless in its pressure throughout. But the annals of baseball will forever recall the record smashing performance of Carl Erskine and the pitcher's duel that brought victory to Flatwoods. 